Creating a Python interpreter for the PlayStation Portable PSP is a complex task that involves understanding both the Python language and the PSP hardware and software environment. In this tutorial, I'll outline the steps and provide code examples to help you get started on writing a basic Python interpreter for the PSP. Part 1 Setting up the development environment before diving into the code, you will need to set up your development environment. Follow these steps along. Install required tools, pspest. You will need a pspa, like the pst toolchain hut github, comps psiv sepst or a pspdivkit hut, sivkit pro or wiki getting sto, teo teo to sivsto, teo teo, or so, or so do, or so, or so. Python source code you can use a lightweight version of Python such as Micropython or Pimite, tailored for embedded systems. The compiler ensure you have a compiler installed, e.g. Set up your project structure. Create a directory for your project. Inside this directory, you can create subdirectories for source code, headers, and other resources. This will not be a complete Python interpreter, but a starting point. Step 1. Create a basic interpreter loop. Create a file named interpreter in the circ directory. This file will contain the main interpreter loop that reads input and evaluates it. Here's a simple example make file. Kakakak flags wall. We include circ circ interpreter kabja circ. Ka. O bin bin interpreter all bin bin obj ko cleaner mfobj bin step 3 compile and test 1. Open a terminal and navigate to your project directory. Run the command make to compile your interpreter. Once compiled, you can run the interpreter on your ups or test it in a suitable environment like an emulator. Summary in this first part of the tutorial, we set up the basic structure for a Python interpreter targeting the PSP and implemented a simple addition expression evaluator. In the next part, we will enhance the interpreter to support more complex features such as variable assignments and error handling. Next steps implement more complex expression parsing. Add support for data types integers, strings. Explore how to integrate with the PSPIS graphics and input APIs to create a more interactive experience. Stay tuned for part 2.